What is up Broncos fans? I am back here again to do a quick video. I just wanted to give my reaction to the Broncos selection with the fifth overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. Overall, I think they, they made the right selection. Honestly, I was thrilled with this. The Broncos selected defensive end Bradley Chubb out of NC State. Again, I think this is a home run. I didn't expect Bradley Chubb to be there at number five, to be totally honest with you. I thought there was really no question that he was either going to go number two to the Giants, given the fact they just got rid of Jason Pierre-Paul. Uh, you know, I, I, that, that made a lot of sense. Or number four to Cleveland. If Cleveland went one with the quarterback, regardless of who it was, or Saquon Barkley won, you know, taking Chubb at four, it, it seemed to make sense pairing him up with Miles Garrett. But that did not happen because, obviously, I mean, Cleveland just set – the whole draft on fire, number one, taking Baker Mayfield, of course, quarterback out of Oklahoma. Then the Giants went Saquon Barkley, number two, which I think was expected. Sam Darnold then went to the Jets, number three, uh, which I'm sure they didn't expect him to fall to, to in, in their lap at number three. Uh, but then at number four, the Browns again dropped another bombshell, which definitely affected us in our draft strategy, and I think a lot of the other teams' draft strategy in selecting Denzel Ward, defensive back out of Ohio State, which I think was a bit of a reach at number four. Um, but ultimately, again, it kind of benefited us. And the opportunity to, to pair a talent like Bradley Chubb with Von Miller and even the likes of guys like Derek Wolf and Shane Ray and Shaq Barrett along your defensive front, I mean, this could be really a, a special thing here. And I think John Elway, it's only fitting that this is his highest pick, obviously, since 2011 when we had the second overall pick and he took Von Miller. That, of course, he goes kind of back to that well, takes another pass rusher here in Bradley Chubb. Again, patience kind of paid off for the Broncos here. There were some rumors we were going to trade up to number two. John Elway kind of denied those reports. Um, but nonetheless, you know, I, I think the fact that we didn't do that and, and the fact, again, that we kind of just waited to see how the board played out, again, didn't kind of pull that trigger with Buffalo early on, waited for, for the board to fall to us, waited to see if Chubb was going to fall to us. Um, patience just paid off for us. So it was just great to, to see how the draft ended up for the Broncos. Again, I, I don't think you can really be anything but thrilled and ecstatic right now as a Broncos fan, again, to end up with Bradley Chubb, the defensive end out of North Carolina State. And Bradley Chubb, again, I think he's a game changer right away. He's a guy that's been compared very often to Joey Bosa, who's, of course, the defensive end for the Los Angeles Chargers out of Ohio State. He was the third pick in 2016. And it's really quite kind of freaky how identical their numbers are. If you just go back and look at their combine numbers, Bradley Chubb, 6'4", 269 pounds. Joey Bosa, 6'5", 269 pounds. Uh, you got Bradley Chubb, 34-inch arms. Joey Bosa, 33 and 3 8 inch arms. You know, very similar there, uh, measurements. You got Joey Bosa running a 4.86 40-yard dash. Bradley Chubb running a 4.65 40-yard dash. Both guys 24 reps on the bench press. Bradley Chubb with a 36-inch vertical. And you got Joey Bosa with a 32-inch vertical. Joey Bosa is obviously a guy that's had a lot of success in his, his first two seasons in the NFL. So that's a, a very, you know, I think high praise and, and very high comparison for Bradley Chubb to be compared to a guy like Joey Bosa. And us Broncos fans know Joey Bosa all too well and what he's been able to do against us. I think it was a game last year or maybe even his rookie year. I think it was last year. He had three sacks against us. Uh, I mean, he's been dominant against us. Obviously, we see him very frequently frequently with the Chargers being our division rival, playing in the AFC West. Um, so it's it's kind of good to get a guy that hopefully will, will give them a taste of their own medicine, hopefully in a way. Um, and again, it's it's just... It's exciting to have Bradley Chubb. Um, and again, you look at what Joey Bosa did in his, his first two seasons with the Chargers, 23 sacks, five forced fumbles. If Bradley Chubb can replicate that production at all in his first two seasons with the Broncos, uh, again, what a home run hit for John Elway and uh, company and the franchise with the, with the fifth overall pick. And Bradley Chubb was just an absolute monster uh, at, at NC State. You look at his last two seasons for the Wolfpack there, finished with 128 tackles, 44 tackles for loss was very disruptive, 20 sacks, four forced fumbles. And ironically, his last two seasons of production kind of match up with Von Miller's last two seasons of production at Texas, Texas A&M. You look at Von Miller's last two seasons at Texas A&M, he had 115 tackles, so 13 less tackles than Chubb did. Um, he, he had 39 tackles for loss, 
That's five tackles for loss less than Chubb did. Uh, but of course, Vaughn being the monster that he has 27 and a half sacks in his final two seasons at Texas A&M, that's seven and a half more sacks than Chubb, and also four, four, four forced fumbles. But nonetheless, the fact that Chubb, again, you, you see the production is, is there, and, and, and the fact that he can even mirror the production of Vaughn Miller, again, I know it's at a collegiate level, but again, kind of shows the talent that this man is. Frankly, we, we needed kind of some juice in the pass rushing game. Vaughn Miller last year was double teamed quite often and was triple teamed at times. And, you know, due to the injuries that we, we, we had to guys like Shane Ray, Derek Wolf. Uh, even Shaq Baird coming off the hip injury, he played great, but obviously he's had some you know injury issues in the past. Uh, Adam Gotsis, obviously with his legal issues off the field, um, and his production level you know hasn't been great. Like our our pass rush was was wildly inconsistent last year and affected by a lot of different things. We we you know we were were 22nd in the NFL in sacks last year, only at 33 total sacks. That's just you know that's not what we're used to. Again, ever since Demarcus Ware left that pass rush again we, we've kind of lacked that juice that kind of that that second guy to Von Miller and again teams can kind of dial in on him and Von Von is still productive to his credit and and that's just kind of the, the the talent that Von Miller is but uh, again teams are able to double team and even triple team and focus so much attention on him because we don't really have that that second guy and we don't even have that interior pass rushing presence and I think Bradley Chubb can kind of address both of those problems so I think that's why he's enormous to bring in again 22nd in the league that's just not going to cut it uh, for us to be ranked in sacks again only 33 we're 31st in forced fumbles as well only eight you know Bradley Chubb hopefully going to help bring that up as well um, and you were 28th against the run last year you weren't great against the run this is a guy in Bradley Chubb uh, as I mentioned before 44 tackles for loss in his last two seasons at NC State 128 tackles overall this is a guy that as great a pass rusher as, as he is, he's also great against the run. He's very disruptive against the run game. He's got great hands. He's, he's, he's a lot like Joey Bosa. He's also very athletic as well, though. He might not be as quick as Joey Bosa in terms of his get-off, but he's still very, uh, very athletic and, and might be more powerful in terms of his ex explosiveness. Um, so Bradley Chubb, again, he's a guy that I think is going to also help us in the run game. He can be disruptive. Again, 44 tackles for loss, 128 tackles overall. Um, kind of shows his his activeness and kind of his pursuit to the ball. So I think he's going to help us defensively in a plethora of ways. And you got, as I mentioned, the the the, the durability issues in the past with uh, our other uh, edge rushers and, and, and guys along our, our, our defensive front, whether it be Derek Wolf, Shane Ray, um, or even Shaq Bear. And like I said, Adam Gotsis, our second round pick from a couple years ago, he's been, you know, relatively unproductive throughout his, his, his stint with us and now he's got these legal issues so I don't know um, Adam you know Adam got us who, who knows what's gonna happen with him so this this pick makes sense and again with the way the board fell it was really Bradley Chubb or Quentin Nelson I don't think we could have gone wrong either way I would have been thrilled to have Quentin Nelson as well I think he'll be a great player for the Colts but now teams you know if you, if you double team Von Miller and you leave Bradley Chubb one on one that's gonna be a huge advantage for us um, and if Bradley Chubb's going off on a team and, and you have to double team him you know, you're going to leave Von Miller one on one. Um, and then if you double team both Miller and Chubb, you're leaving guys like Shane Ray and Shaq Barrett and Derek Wolf in one on one situations inside, uh, potentially, or even on the outside, you know, free runs. So it, the, 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 the opportunities and, and options and, and p potential is, is limitless, I think, for our defense now. And, and we can really get back to that, that, that kind of orange crush way, as cliche as that is, but, but really get, get back to being the pass rush that we're, we're known to be. Um, and I think this is going to help Von Miller so much. Um, and, again, I'm, I'm just – I'm geeked to have, have Bradley Chubb. I, I did not think that he was going to be available. And to get a monster like this, to get a player like this, a talent like this, um, and be able to pair him with Von Miller, I think is huge. And and uh, our pass rush is going to be disruptive. And I think it's going to be able to compete with the likes of, of, of Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram, you know, which, again, is a duo we're, we're very familiar with playing in our division. Um, so I, I think the, 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 the duo of, of Bradley Chubb and Von Miller is, is as good of pass rushing duo as, as any in the, in the league and, and could be. And I can't wait to see what Bradley Chubb does. Uh, in his rookie year, and I'm so thrilled to welcome him to Denver, his family to Denver, um, and I think he's huge for our defense. I know Vance Joseph is excited, Joe Woods, our defensive coordinator, to get him, Bill Kolar, our defensive line coach, to get him, and 
uh, in, 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 and develop him and work with him. I know all of those guys are probably thrilled. John Elway, I think, made the right decision here. Being patient, staying at five, getting Bradley Chubb, again, letting the board fall to you, a guy that probably didn't even expect to be there. It's just, a, I think, a still for us and, and a, a great move. So um, that's my, my thoughts on the Broncos taking Bradley Chubb at number five. In this video, I'm going to leave a little special treat. I actually filmed a live reaction uh, to the Bradley Chubb pick with my friends. I was watching the draft with my co-host, Brian Bill. I just mentioned of, of the, of course, podcast we do, Opinionated, as well as my friends, uh, Nate and Antoine, who are also big Broncos fans, big Denver sports fans, and we were all watching it, and uh, thought it'd be cool to just record our live reaction. So it's raw. Uh, yeah, again, you know, excuse our language, excuse the reaction. If it's not the most mature, whatever, again, we're just having fun. It's raw. We're football fans. Um, and uh, just going to give you guys uh, our reactions to the Denzel War pick uh, at number four by the Browns, and then, of course, uh, us ultimately picking Bradley Chubb at, at, at number five. So enjoy that, and uh, again, thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you like the channel. Great job by John Elway and company on night one of the 2018 NFL Draft, and welcome to Bronco Country, Bradley Chubb. Cannot wait to see you sack the hell out of opposing quarterbacks in the 2018 NFL season. Peace out, guys. With the fourth pick in the 2018 <coughs> draft, the Cleveland Browns select Denzel Ward. Ooh! Oh, let's go! That's huge. Oh, Bradley Chubb. You got it, Chubb. Oh, you got it, Chubb. You got it, Chubb. Oh, Bradley, Bradley, let's go. It's got to be Bradley now. Bradley, Bradley Chubb. Fucking go, dude. And it's tight. That's tight as shit. That is sharp. And is an inspiration to all of us. Okay, Austin. Let's, let's go, go, Austin. Who is it? Bradley Chubb, baby. With the fifth pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Bradley Chubb. Let's go! Let's go!